हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू दी नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ ओ पी एल असाइनमेंट वीडियो सीरीज सो टुडे वील डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट असाइनमेंट ऑफ ग्रुप सी दैट इज अबाउट डी क्यू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील सी वॉट इज मीन बाई डी क्यू सो डी क्यू स्टैंड फॉर डबल एंडेड क्यू सो वे आर यू कैन डू द इंसर्शन एंड डिलीशन ऑपरेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम दी बोर्ड साइड्स मीन्स फ्रॉम फर्स्ट साइड यू कैन इंसर्ट एंड डिलीट एलिमेंट्स एंड फ्रॉम द लास्ट साइड यू कैन इंसर्ट एंड डिलीट एलिमेंट्स that you can't delete uh, that you can't do in the simple queues it means uh, because simple queue is following only first in first out concept that is uh, the element which you insert from the back side that you can delete from the front side okay so that is the use of dq and in in c++ there is a standard template library for dq where you don't have to write the logic already the lo logics are defined there just you have to reuse it and you have to call all the member functions to perform all these operations now we'll see the program for this so we need a header file dq here because without this header file we ca we cannot use the uh, stl here we, we cannot use the member functions of dq here double ended queue so in in main function in main function we'll first create the dq container we'll create the object of integer type because i want to store only integer values here then i'll create an iterator so iterator is what iterator is just a pointer which points the values of dq container here okay because we cannot directly access the values of dq container here in order to access the values of dq container we should use uh, we should use the iterator which will point each and every memory address of dq element okay so after that i need choice element a choice variable for uh, the menus because i am going to uh, write the menus here then i need element variable to store the element uh, values here okay the values which i am going to store or try from the dq okay so after that i am using infinite while loop okay so i have used true here because of that now this uh, while loop becomes infinite because i i want to stop my menus a while when i press exit button okay so because of that there are nine menus in this program so first menu is for inserting the elements at back second for inserting element at front then delete element from front delete element from back show front element show back element show all elements and show size of dq and finally exit so after that i have asked you know, for entering the choice and i have taken the choice with the help of c in object now after this we'll write the logic for uh, next things okay so here switch case will define so in switch will define first case because first case is for inserting the element at back so see we need element here so i'll write enter element to be inserted okay so i'll write here this and after that i'll take the element with the help of element variable and then after that i will use the uh, d object of the uh, dq container here dq stl so i'll use d dot then there is a push back push back push underscore back this is the member function of dq which which with with which you can insert the element in the dq okay then after that i'll just just display c out element inserted okay so i'll write just element inserted okay then slash and i will use and then break i'll use okay so after that in case two uh, the same thing we have to do that is we have to element we have to insert the element at the front side so i'll just do here i'll just change the function here that is push front okay so at this time so this is again a, these are the member functions see push back and push front these are the member functions of dq class with which you can perform the push operations okay so here after calling this push front the element will be inserted from the front side okay so this is about case 2 after that in case 3 i want to delete element from the front side so i'll just write here okay so i'll here element variable again and with the help of uh, again d object i'll call here i'll call here front function okay so front function returns front function returns the front element here so that element i will return into 
I will store it into element variable. Okay. And after that, with the help of D object, I will call pop underscore front function, which will delete the front element, which will pop the front element. Okay. And then I will display which element is popped here or which element is deleted. Okay. So element and then I'll just display element. Okay. So I'll give the space here. And then here again I'll use deleted from from front side okay so that I will display here then again semicolon then break okay so same about the case 4 where I am going to delete the element from the back side so I'll copy this code and I'll paste it here and I'll just change this front width back okay back is the function which will return the back element and then again there is the same pop back pop underscore back function which deletes the element from the back side so the rest of the things are same just I will change this front with the back keyboard okay so here in case 4 the element will be deleted from the back side and it will be displayed which element is deleted in case 5 we have to display front element okay we'll check whether okay so we have to check uh, for the show front element and then in case 6 you have to show back element okay so here again we will write here okay we'll use again element variable and with the help of element variable then we'll store the value of front here so i'll call again front function which will return the front value and then i'll display front element is equal to which is that is element i'll use it there okay so this is for accessing front element okay this, then in case 6 we have to access the back element so i'll copy and paste the same definition here and i'll just replace this front with back so this will return the back element and i'll display that back element here okay so back element and with the help of element variable i will display it here then in case 7 we have to display all the elements of the dq so now i have told you that we cannot directly access the elements of dq here so in order to access them we have to use iterator here so already we are having iterator so before that i will display q dq elements okay so we have to use here it uh, for loop because there are multiple elements in the dq so to access them we need loop here so i'll use for loop but in for loop for in, uh, i will initialize the iterator first so itr is equal to i'll use d object and then i'll call begin function so begin function will do what it will access it will return the first address of the first element okay it will return the address of first element and that will be stored into itr pointer here okay then after that itr where to stop my itr iterator pointer so i'll use itr is not equal to d dot end so up to end of my dq okay it will iterate and then it will stop where the end reach at the uh, when the end of the dq reaches that time this iterator will stop or this iterations will will stop there okay and then after that i'll implement the itr plus plus i'll implement the iterator pointer here okay so in this for loop i'll just write c out and then i'll use d reference operator and i'll, I'll de reference the itr pointer here okay then insertion operator and then space okay then i'll write break then in case 8 i'll write i have to return the size of my dq so i'll just display size of dq is equal to and i'll write d dot size size is the member function there again that you can use for returning the size of dq then okay then in case 9 we have used exit so i'll call exit of zero function for exiting the program for terminating, terminating the program I'll use break and finally in default case i'll just write c out invalid option 
ओके स्लैश एम ओके सो दिस वे वी हैव डन विद दी प्रोग्राम नाउ वी विल चेक वेदर इट इज रनिंग और नॉट ओके सो विल कंपाइल एंड रन दिस प्रोग्राम ओके नाउ इट इज रनिंग ओके सो फर्स्ट आई विल इंसर्ट द एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द बैक साइड एंड फ्रंट साइड सो फ्रॉम द फ्रंट साइड आई विल फ्रॉम द बैक साइड आई विल एंटर फर्स्ट ओके देन वन सिक्सटी सिक्स देन टू फॉर फ्रॉम फ्रंट साइड दैट इज ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड टू फ्रॉम सेवेंटी सेवन ओके नाउ विल डिस्प्ले द एलिमेंट सो आई रन द केस सेवन ओके नाउ यू कैन सी सेवेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी थ्री फोर्टी फाइव Sixty-six. So yeah, at last, from front side, I have inserted the seventy-seven because that this is now front side. This is sixty-six, which is I have inserted at last. Okay, from back side. Okay. After this, I'll delete the element. So I'll press three button now. Three, which will element the front element. So seventy-seven is deleted from the front side. Then four for back side. So sixty-six is deleted from the back side. You can see. Now after that again I will display I will display the size I will enter the eight option eight now it is size of DQ is two only now and the elements you can see here okay only two okay and then I will display front and back element so five for front and six for back forty five and twenty three these are the front and back element right now okay so This way we can run this program. Okay, we can do this program and now and I'm for exit now. Okay, so this is about your the next assignment that is uh, STL for DQ that is double ended Q. So if you are having any doubt about this assignment, you can post your doubt in the comment section. So thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.